Hello everyone, welcome to Consultair and InterlingIQ.com to conduct a document review utilizing the DOS, Insect, and Pest Proofy under the SQF Module 11.1.5. First check if the document title matches the uploaded file name on the dashboard. In this instance, we both have the same titles as DOS, Insect, and Pest Proofy. Then next, both must have the same document code. For this example, we do have 11.1.5. And since this is a template, we indicate the PCQI as the account initials. However, we can customize the code based on the company's initials. For the page number, we use the page X of Y format, ensure that it reflects the current page position and the total page number of the document. And here, insert the company logo together with the company name and company address, and enter the designated department. For the originated by section, it can be the food safety, quality assurance, or the quality control personnel of the company. Enter the name of the originator, affix the signature, position title, and the date originated. For the reviewed by section, it can be the personnel assigned in quality management department who reviews the drafted document or its revision for accuracy and implementation. And again, enter the name of the reviewer. A fixed signature, position title, and the date reviewed. For the approved by section, it must be the person in the C-level management who has the approval authority. Enter the name of the approver, a fixed signature, position title, and the date approved. For the revision date, the revision date is the same as the date originated or drafted by the author. The effective date, it is the date the document was signed and approved. Publication date is when the document is published for distribution and initiated personal training. Implementation date is when the document is distributed and personal training is completed. For the supersedes, put original for the initial issuance of the document, and for any revisions, reflect the initial revision date before the current revision. And please be reminded that this section must be properly filled out to be compliant. Now, we will focus on the components of the program. First off, we have here is the purpose. The purpose is the implementation of any certification standard or compliance with a regulatory requirement. For this program, it is for the implementation with the SQF Module 11, Edition 9 for Food Manufacturing under Clause 11.1.5. Under this, we have to implement SQF 11.1.5.1, all external windows, ventilation openings, Doors and other openings shall be effectively sealed when closed and proof against dust, vermin, and other pests. External personal access doors shall be effectively inspect proof and fitted with a self-closing device and proper seals to protect against entry of dust, vermin, and other pests. To implement SQF 11.1.5.2, external doors including overhead dock doors in food handling areas used for product pedestrian or truck access shall be designed and maintained to prevent pest ingress by at least one or combination of the following method. First, we have is a self-closing device, an effective air curtain, a pest-proof screen, a pest-proof annex, and adequate ceiling around trucks in docking areas. Next, to implement SQF 11.1.5.3, electric insect control devices, pheromone or other traps and baits, shall be located and operated so that they don't present a contamination risk to the product, packaging, containers, or processing equipment. Poison rodenticide bait shall not be used inside ingredients or product storage areas or processing areas where ingredients and packaging and products are handled, processed, or exposed. Second, we have is the scope. The scope of the program is based on the purpose and serve as a guide in defining and describing the layout of the procedure. And under the scope, we have the physical barriers, pest devices, and pest control. Third, we have is the policy. The policies are the rules set by the company as their implementation guide. And we have here the physical barriers such as doors, windows, or other means of production areas are in place to prevent pests and thus ingress into food production areas. Next, Requirements for physical barriers to pests and dust ingress into food production areas via external doors, windows, and other means. Pest devices used in the facility conforms to local regulations, 
Location and use of controlled measures to trap pests within the premises are documented properly, and you may refer to the pest prevention program. Fourth, we have is the procedure. The procedure is a step-by-step -step process and the actual implementation of the policy. And we have here is the physical barrier. Close or protect and seal windows against dust and pests. Seal effectively doors opening directly into processing areas to prevent dust and or entry of pests. Place screen on vents and exhaust to prevent ingress of flying insects. Use self-closing doors for personal access unless used exclusively as a fire exit. Ensure that external doors are fly-proofed. Trucks in docking areas are sealed. Doors opening directly into processing areas are effectively sealed to prevent dust and or entry of pests. Doors used for personal access are self-closing unless used exclusively as a far exit. Next is the pest devices. Use pest devices that are approved and used as per applicable legislation so as not to present a contamination risk to the product, packaging containers, or equipment. Use indicator baits that conform to local regulation inside processing areas to not use poison baits or glue boards in processing areas. All pest devices used and approved and used per applicable legislation so as not to present contamination risk to the product, packaging container, or equipment. And you may refer to the SDS and approved chemical list. Indicator baits conform to local regulation when used inside processing areas. Next, we have is the pest control. A licensed pest control company will inspect and report to the person in charge any infestations found on treatments necessary in establishment. The monthly pest control service is for control of rats, mice, roaches, water beetles, ants, and spiders. Licensed technicians will inspect, control, and monitor any installed devices and will treat any problem areas. Pest control companies in USDA plant may only use EPA and CDFA registered pesticides. If an infestation is found, do not try to treat the infestation. Report it to your supervisor immediately. Check rodent traps quickly. Check under and behind pallets for evidence of rodents and other pests. Inside walls, perimeter and partition are maintained to allow inspection. If pest activity is suspected, the PCO may use ultraviolet light to find rodent activity. All spilled and damaged products or ingredients are cleaned and disposed immediately to prevent unauthorized use and pest attraction. If flying insect activity is present, use light trough from 2 to 5 feet above the ground, cleaning monthly, and keep a distance from food and food contact surfaces. Only mechanical traps or glue boards may be used inside the facility. All devices are in proper working order. Traps are the both sides of exterior doors opening. All doors are tight fitting with no visible light observed between floor and door. The building is sound with no holes, hand screen. Exterior openings or broken windows. All entrances have protection to prevent the entrance of pests. No pest related chemicals to be stored at the facility. Activity reports include the evidence of pests, including evidence from traps and conditions that would compromise pest management, include specific sites of activity, recommended corrective actions, specific chemical use, lot codes, locations, the date used, and for what purpose. Report must be signed by the PCO and plant representative. Each deficiency must include corrective action documentation. Plant specific pest control manual, current and provided by the pest control company. The policy will identify forms used by the PCO. Activity reports document chemical use and observation of activity. The policy contains a copy of the PCO license, insurance, and MSDS. PCO provides services based on upon activity and in compliance with the contract, policy, and activity levels. Observation recorded on service records. Subsequent reports should indicate the effectiveness of actions. Responsible plant personnel noting PCO observation should not sign the report. Site maps are reviewed, dated, and signed on annual basis or when a change occurs. Rodents are destroyed and disposed of immediately. All wrapping materials are stored in sealed containers. All production materials are stored in sealed containers. Empty all trash, 
receptacles at least once daily as filled. Outside premises are free of discarded equipment, litter, pallets, feeds, and other clutter. The outside perimeter of building is kept clean, a minimum of 18 inches. Dumpsters are placed on the concrete, emptied daily, covered, and kept clean underneath. There are no foul odors inside the building, nor accumulation of drainage liquids. Report any sighting of ants, flies, or other pests to supervisor immediately. He will contact the pest control company immediately. Pesticides are not to be used inside the plant. If a pesticide must be used inside the plant, such as croc or crevice, only a licensed technician must apply it. The croc or crevice are sealed after any application of pesticide. USDA must be notified. No pesticides are to be used outside of the plant where a possibility of truck it into the plant exists. Pest monitoring devices map is in the pest control notebook. All pesticides and poisons are to be provided, stored, and administered by the licensed pest control technician only. Pesticide used by the pest control technician must be EPA approved. Fifth, we have is the responsibility. The responsibility of the person is indicated. It covers what to perform to comply with the procedure and the policy. First up, we have is the quality department or the preventive control qualified individual or the PCQI, which will inspect the areas for compliance with this policy, oversee or verify compliance of procedure, ensure personnel are trained on this policy and procedures, monitor and take corrective action to ensure compliance with this policy, validate training and adherence to policy and procedure, Monitor and document non-conformance observation is also known as discrepancy using corrective action, preventive action, or the CAPA report. Second, we have the licensed pest control technician. Inspect and report any infestation found or point of entry. Supervisor or department heads and team leaders are responsible to ensure, inspect, and verify this policy and procedure is adhered to and take corrective action to ensure compliance with this policy. Next, we have is the maintenance. The maintenance ensures the compliance to dust, insect, and pest proofing when installing physical barriers and pest control devices. Six, the corrective action is the process of taking appropriate steps to eliminate causes of nonconformities or other undesirable situations. And under corrective action, in the event of pest and dust contamination in the food production areas, effectively seal all external windows ventilation openings, doors, and other openings. In case of pest infestation inside the food processing area, use indicator baits that conform to local regulation to avoid contamination. Last, train all personnel on this policy and reference SSOPs. Seven is the review quality. The review session serves as a guidelines for conducting the annual or the periodic review. The annual review of compliance to the requirement for dust Insect and pest proofing by observing the following. Windows are closed or protected and sealed against dust and pests. Doors are closed or protected against dust or pest. Personal doors have self-closing devices or other methods to ensure effective protection. External doors are fly-proof. Sealing around trucks and docking areas is adequate. Insect devices are located so as not to pose a threat to product, tools, or equipment. Poison beads or glue boards are not used in processing areas. Eight, we have is the reference documents. The reference documents are the set of documents used to implement and monitor a program, policy, and procedure. And under reference documents, we have the pest prevention program, SDS and approved chemical list, DCO license insurance, site maps. Ninth is the reference. The reference section is composed of a guides. Utilize to implement the program. Examples are the certification guide, regulations, and other widely accepted scientific journals, research, and the like. It is also must comply with the standard format citation, which can be based either MLE, APA, Chicago style, and update access date. And under reference, we have the SQF Module 11, Edition 9 for Food Manufacturing, Section 11, 1.5. Dust, insect, and pest proofing. Lastly, we have is the history. The history section is where we can update the program. If there are any changes or revisions made in the document, 
if there is a revision, enter the revision number, revision date, description of change, originator or the author name, the title or the department of the author or the originator. Thank you for participating in this document review. Content presented are for training purposes only and are based on interpretations of standards and best practices and must be customized for your intended use. To fully customize your programs, policies, procedures, forms for records, and lessons for training, you may contact Interlink IQ or Consultor Inc. at services at interlinkiq.com or simply call 202-982-3002. For free access, visit interlinkiq.com.